Okay, so now that the header is done, uh, we just need to do one very important thing to save the file and to name this page. Right now, the name is still by default page one. So you just click once and then I'm gonna name this home page. And once I press enter, the tab also gets renamed. Another thing that I want to name is the logos and the buttons and the search bar. The reason is I wanna differentiate these components. And one way I'm gonna be able to differentiate the logos is if you see here, we've got a, a box at the back and the actual image of the logo. If you select them both by pressing shift, tap, and then you press command G to group or control G if you're using PC, then you have a group. I'm gonna name this group a Jordan logo. And then for, I'm gonna do the same for Nike. Control G and call it the Nike logo. Cool. Next, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name the menu links. So there's new releases. So it's up to you what you wanna name your, your components. Uh, I like to use the name itself new releases, and I like to take out the spaces. So it would be something like this, new releases, uh, let's say menu button. Okay, I'm gonna copy this last part because I'm gonna reuse it for the other buttons. This is the men menu button, for women, Okay, sale and collections. This will just help us differentiate these components later on when we start adding interactions. Now I wanna treat the search uh, element as one thing. So I'm gonna select all of it. So the text field, the icon and the background, and control G to group. I'm gonna name that search bar. I'm gonna save this file. So a very quick tip to you, make sure to be constantly saving your file. Come on, 